Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time stopping by, my name's Heather. Today we have a very exciting video for you because we were tagged by Emma and John from Emma and John, you're welcome, to do the Disney food tag. So we're gonna be making one of our favorite Disney snacks from Magic Kingdom. If you followed for any amount of time, you know that we love Sleepy Hollow. We're gonna be making one of our favorite foods from Sleepy Hollow in Magic Kingdom, and that is the hazelnut spread fruit and waffle sandwich. I think that's the official name. If not, I'll put it here. But we're gonna be making that today and crazy situations are happening. People are buying more food than they need. So guess who couldn't find blueberries? They had some blueberries, but a very small container was $5 and I'm like, mm, we'll just double the strawberries that we have on hand. So we're gonna be making it with imaginary blueberries and I know they're gonna taste amazing. So let's just go ahead and get started. We'll show you what we have here. And we have a very fancy new waffle maker for the whole process. I was going to order the official Disney waffle mix from Amazon. However, with everything going on, I decided not to do it because it was not essential item. So we're gonna be using the waffle mix that we have here. So I'm gonna turn this around and show you everything that we have. So here is everything that we have to make this today. We have our hazelnut spread. We have a banana that's on its way out, so we wanted to use it up today. We have plenty of strawberries, and then we have this protein oat pancake and waffle mix. They actually look really good as pancakes, and then on the back, they do look delicious as waffles. So we're gonna go ahead and make this. I'm gonna show you the new waffle maker that we got. I am super excited about this. It's one of those like little fancy flip things. It looks really awesome. I hope that it works out good. We're gonna go ahead and wash that down really quickly and I'm gonna start preparing the fruit. Probably gonna be one of those times where everything just falls out. I actually think I'm gonna double this since we've never used this mix before in case I mess up. That way I don't have to like remix it. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So we have one cup. I'm gonna add a second cup. This looks very, very hearty though. It doesn't look like regular mix. I really wish I had gotten something else that you mix with eggs to make it a little bit more homemade, but such is life. Should have probably cut that bigger. <laughs> I just didn't want it to fall out. Okay, so we have two cups of this. And then I need um, two thirds of a cup of water. Twice. No, so what do you think about the batter? You think it like looks hardier than the stuff we normally use? Yeah, it looks really, really good. It's nice and thick. It's really good. You may be wondering why we are not using a whisk. It's because it's in the dishwasher. Yeah, he used it for biscuits and gravy, so I can't be too mad about it. But yeah, just gonna keep mixing this up, and then we're waiting on that griddle to preheat, and then we're gonna give it a go and do a sample waffle. Okay, so to open this, we have to just say turn it this way. Okay, and then it will lift up. I couldn't figure it out for the longest time, so I'm gonna spray this with some cooking spray, and then we're going to start adding in the batter. I wonder if it'll tell us when we need to flip it. It seems like a lot better, but it's so thick. My goodness. I think 
that's enough. Okay, let's close it up and see. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so we did our test one and it actually turned out beautiful in color. And so we had to throw that one away. It said on the directions in the box that when you cook the first one, you gotta throw it out. So we've got our second one in and as soon as this light turns green, we're gonna flip it. And then when the light turns green again, we're gonna flip it again and open it up and show you guys what it looks like. Are you guys ready to see? Look how gorgeous. That looks absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's gonna take both of us to do this because this thing wants to slide. <laughs> Yum. Second one is finished. Yum. Now it's time to put all the delicious goodies on. Also, I want to apologize for my nails. I know they look yellow and ridiculous. I just took green fingernail polish off and they, it was stained. So that's why they look really disgusting right now. Michaela and I are going to paint our nails tomorrow. So just giving them a breather day. Golly, I could eat that whole jar. some strawberries. There's no way that I could eat a whole one by myself and her too. So it's probably enough of that. All right, dude. This spot, this is our imaginary blueberries. Doesn't that look amazing? <laughs> okay, so in Disney fashion, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This looks absolutely amazing. This is, I think, bigger than Disney's. I don't know what the deal is. <laughs> Looks so good. Yeah. Okay. So I guess I'm trying it by myself first. You gonna try it too? Oh my lord. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I will say the imaginary blueberries taste phenomenal, but this tastes really good even without the blueberries in all honesty and I have to say it does not taste like the Disney version of this anyway if you can get your hands on this I highly suggest it, it is very very hearty very filling can't wait to get your honest opinion it's dripping because it's hot <laughs> okay. it's running out of the middle that's what happened <laughs> What do you think? Honest opinion. It's not the same as Disney. Oh, that's pretty good. I like it a lot. I think maybe we need to do the cook it a little darker so it's more crisp. a little bit more crisp. Yeah, I think that was the only thing that was missing. Today was probably not the best day to try out a new waffle maker. Trying to do this whole thing, it could be a little bit crispier. That was the word, crispier. Could be a little bit crispier. That was basically what Damon had said. So. 
I will say this, if you don't have a waffle maker, or if you don't feel like making waffles, pop an Eggo in a toaster, slather it with some hazelnut spread and some fruit, pretend you're at Disney because I know we all wish that we were there right now. Since this is a tag, I'm going to be tagging a few people to participate in this. You don't have to make this. You can make whatever Disney snack that you would like to make. So the first person I am going to be tagging is Saria over at Dream It DIY. The second person I'm going to be tagging is Nina from Wrestling with Disney. I cannot wait to see what you ladies come up with in your kitchens. I know this was a very cattywampus video, but I thank you guys so much for watching anyway. We hope that you guys are staying safe and healthy out there. Know that we love you and we're thinking about you guys. That's going to do it for this video. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!